In today's video, I will be showing you how I started these tomatoes from seed and eventually got them planted out into this RDWC system. Um, a quick disclaimer, I have a little bit of experience growing an RDWC, just a little bit. I've grown two other crops, um, but I've never grown tomatoes. So please don't take this as a how-to. Please uh, take this as entertainment and watch me experiment, explore, and probably fail. Uh, in certain ways, but hopefully by the end we will have some delicious tomatoes and um, you will be able to follow along and see how it all happened. Um, if that sounds interesting, stick around and we will go back in time to when I plant these as seeds. Today I'll be starting some tomatoes for my indoor RDWC system. These are the tomatoes that I'm going to be starting. See if you can see that. They're cherry tomatoes. Um, I just got this pack on Amazon. I'm going to be growing them in these peat pellets uh, and then ultimately in RDWC. And this is what the seeds look like. So I'm going to put, I think, two seeds per pellet and then prune down to one after I can see which are doing best. But I'm going to get started by expanding these pellets. All right, I'm gonna go drain the excess water. All right, that does it. I'm gonna let these guys sit in here until they sprout and are big enough to go into the RDWC system. Today's day 11. I got 100% sprouting. After seven days, I had zero sprouts. I even poked around in there and I saw the seeds hadn't um, popped at all. So I sat this on a heating pad, and four days later, this is what we're looking at. I'm going to weed out these down to one each in a little bit. Um, and once the roots start coming out, I will plant them into the hydroponic system. Okay, I thought since I had everything out to clean, I could go over quickly how my recirculating RDWC system works. And I have a video that explains how I built all this in more detail, and I will link that in the description. But quickly, what we have here is the reservoir. So this will hold most of the water, um, and I can easily access it to check uh, the levels, the EC values, pH, uh, top up water, that kind of thing. And then from there, comes out one of these ports into this contraption, which is my chiller. I have a video where I talk about how I made that, and I can link that as well. Um, so through the chiller, it's pulled by this pump, and then out to these three nozzles. And those nozzles will go through these holes in the top of the net pot the net pot lids, and fill up each of these five gallon buckets. The buckets have holes on the front that set the level. So you can see in there is the other side. There's a little mesh screen in there to prevent clogging. So the water will fill in from the pump, fill up to this level, and then come out this hole and then this PVC pipe right here will be connected to each of those ports and then fl it flows right back in to the reservoir.
All right, I'm going to get the nutrients uh, added into the basin here I'm using this Sensi Grow. I got part A and part B. Um, I got some DI water. I have uh, pH up and down and pH pan and an EC meter. So I'm going to aim for, I think, uh, 1000 EC because um, it seems like when they're at full growth they want to be at two to five thousand that's what I've seen uh, on the internet so I'm gonna aim for a thousand um, and we'll go from there because they're young and I want to start low and, and go up All right, my pH was 6.15 to 6.2. My EC was uh, 1,100, which I'm gonna call good. I'm gonna bring in the seedlings and sit them kind of close to the lights, but not as close as they will be, so I can slowly acclimate them and I don't just destroy them by switching to a too strong of light too quickly. Here are the seedlings. I'm gonna need to prune them as well. Pick one, pick the best one. You can see the roots are starting. Um, this is seven days since sprout. Okay, I will plant these guys in to the system in maybe 12 to 24 hours. I've had some people ask me in the past what these things are. Um, it's hydrogen which is expanded clay pellets. This is a great hydroponic medium because it holds a little bit of water and provides support for the roots. You do want to clean them off before you use them though because there's a lot of clay dust. That's what I'm doing here. I just poke some holes in the bottom of the bag and fill it with water, um, letting it drain and dry. Okay, so it is day nine since sprout. I'm gonna actually get these guys in here into their final growing location. Um, but first I need to pick the best of each and kill the other one. Which is tough, you know. I always hate to kill plants and they look great. I wish there was a way for me to pull it out and maybe plant it outside, but I don't have any space to do it outside and that's probably gonna kill it when I pull it out. So here we go. Okay, that is done. Now I'm going to put a layer of hydrogen down. I just uh, washed and uh, cleaned that to get all the dust out. Put a layer of hydrogen down, a small layer, put these guys in and then bury them up to probably their first node. Do a little bit more so I can bring that a little bit higher. All right. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest. Alrighty, I got them all planted up. I just made a quick mix of half strength nutrients. 
I just took some out of there and diluted it half with fresh water. I'm gonna to top feed these for the next couple days to give their roots a chance to uh, get into the actual water. Okay, so I just turned off the pump so you guys can hopefully hear me better. Um, that is going to wrap up this video, I think. We went from seeds to getting them planted into the DWC system. Um, please follow along. We will hopefully get all the way to harvesting some fruits. This is my first time growing, so uh, first time growing tomatoes, so I really don't know what I'm doing or what to expect. Um, and I'd love to get some feedback in the comments if you guys know what I should be doing differently or what to expect. I'd love to hear it. Please give me a comment and definitely subscribe if you're interested in seeing the full journey. I know I'm going to have to build some kind of trellis system, so that's what I'm thinking about now. Probably gonna hang some some kind of mesh or some kind of wire grate um, right here, or maybe build it up from the ground. I'm not sure. We will see, and I'll experiment and explore. But we will get there when we do. All right, everybody. Thanks for following along with this, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.